Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Blair. I am so excited for this video. I am doing a collab with a whole bunch of ladies here on YouTube and we are sharing all of our favorite crock pot recipes. I am going to have a playlist in my description, so make sure you go and check out all of their videos when you're done watching mine. I love using my crock pot. I can't wait to watch everyone's videos. I am going to share two of my favorite crock pot recipes with you. Katie over at Life with the Love Days is hosting this amazing collab. So make sure when you are done watching my video, definitely go over to her channel and show her some love. and check out all of the other yummy recipes that are in the playlist in the description. The first dish that we're making is a chicken and pasta recipe. It is so delicious. I've made this before and my whole family really loved it. So first you just add your chicken breast to your crock pot. And then you are going to add two packets of this Italian seasoning. I actually found this recipe on TikTok and I'm so glad that I found it. Who would have thought that you would find really good recipes on TikTok? So you don't need to, but I love this seasoning and I use it on pretty much everything. So I like to add a little bit to this. And then you use half of a can of chicken broth. And then you add a whole family size can of cream of chicken soup. Add eight ounces of cream cheese. I never measure cheese, but I just sprinkle the whole bunch of shredded Parmesan cheese on top. And then you are going to cook your chicken on high for four hours. When the chicken is almost done, you just start cooking your pasta. You can use pretty much whatever kind of pasta you want. I like to use this kind. As a side to go with the pasta, I roasted some asparagus in the oven and I also made some breadsticks. After the four hours, you're supposed to take your chicken out and just shred it up. But this chicken was cooked perfectly. I couldn't even take it out of the crock pot. It was just falling apart. So I just took a wooden spoon and just kind of shredded it while it was still in there. After you shred your chicken and your pasta is done, add your pasta to the crock pot and then mix everything together. This is one of my favorite things to make in the crock pot. It's so easy and it is so delicious. Even my five-year-old really loves it. Next, we are making my favorite soup. We are making Zuppa Toscana. The recipe I followed called for six large russet potatoes, but mine were kind of small, so I used nine. Dice up your potatoes into bite-sized pieces and then add them to your crock pot. You need one pound of hot ground sausage. While the sausage is cooking, you are going to dice up half of a white onion and some cloves of garlic. I remember going to Olive Garden and I would always get this soup. I thought it would be like really hard to make, but I'm so glad that I tried to make it myself because it came out so amazing and it was actually super easy.
You are going to add the onions and the garlic to the sausage while it is still cooking. Next, you're going to add 32 ounces of chicken broth to the crock pot. When the sausage is done cooking, you're going to add that to the crock pot also. And I wanted to make sure all my potatoes were covered, so I just added a bottle of water. And you are going to cook this on low for five to six hours. This was after about five and a half hours. You are going to rinse a bunch of kale and then you are going to chop it up into bite-sized pieces. I know using a bunch of kale seems like a lot of kale, but it is going to cook down and it's going to be perfect. Once you have chopped your kale, go and add it to the crock pot. And guys, I don't know what happened. I thought my camera was recording, but it did not record me adding 16 ounces of heavy cream. And then you add about half of a cup of Parmesan cheese I had a little bit more than that, and so I just ended up using the rest of what I had. After you add the kale and the cheese and the heavy cream, you're going to add salt and pepper. I think I added a little bit more pepper this time than I did the first time that I made this, and it came out so perfect. I think it kind of looks like a lot when I'm filming it, but it just came out like so amazing. It was the perfect amount. After you add the kale and cheese and cream and the salt and pepper, you are going to cook this for another 30 minutes. The first time I made this was just last week and it was just a little practice run before I filmed this video and my husband loves it. He was like so excited to have it again. He ate two bowls. Let me know which recipe you're going to try, which one was your favorite. I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.